here in the i button and in description box below you will find the complete playlist of laplace transform okay so welcome to video number 2 and in this video we are going to prove two formula okay very important formula on laplace transform uh, the first formula is laplace of 1 equals to 1 upon s and the second formula is laplace of e to the power a t is equals to 1 upon s minus a let us start uh, we will prove both the formula by using by taking the help of general formula of laplace transform that is laplace of f of t is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt okay so start with we will start with first formula that is laplace of 1 equals to 1 upon s we need to prove this formula okay so since we know that by the general formula of uh, by the definition of uh, laplace transform we have laplace of f of t is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt okay and if you compare this with this okay then we will see that f of t is equals to what 1 okay so we can say after comparing we have f of t equals to what 1 okay it means we need to find the value of laplace of 1 okay so in place of f of t put 1 so this will be laplace of 1 is equals to integration 0 to infinity this will be as it is that is e to the power minus st into this f of t is what this is 1 okay dt fine now solving this with a, uh, solving this part that is integration with respect to t okay minus s will be considered as constant okay so e to the power minus st integration with respect to t will become e to the power minus st upon coefficient of this t is what minus s so minus is written in the denominator part okay then the limit is from 0 to infinity okay taking this minus s common okay minus 1 upon s now putting this okay upper limit that is in place of t we will put infinity so this will become e to the power minus infinity okay this will become minus infinity and this is lower limit that is zero okay upper limit minus lower limit okay lower limit will be e to the power zero okay so 1 upon minus 1 upon s e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power zero okay fine Minus one upon s will be as it is. E to the power minus infinity can be written as one upon e to the power infinity minus e to the power zero can be written as one. Okay, we know that e to the power infinity is a huge value, but one upon e to the power infinity will be zero. Okay, okay. So this will be become zero. Now this is we have minus one upon s into minus one. Okay, multiplying this will get one upon s. So finally we have this formula that is Laplace of one. Equals to what? One upon s. Fine. Now coming to the second part. The second formula is that is to prove Laplace of e to the power a t is equals to one upon s minus a. Okay. Again, we will start with the definition of Laplace transform. That is, Laplace of f of t is equals to integration zero to infinity e to the power minus s t into f of t dt. Fine. Okay. So if you compare this, you will find that f of t is what e to the power minus a t. So we can write here that is. f of t is equals to e to the power a t so therefore laplace of e to the power a t is equals to integration 0 to infinity this is as it is that is e to the power minus s t into f of t is what e to the power a t d t fine okay now since base is common we can add this power okay now look at this step equals to in integration 0 to infinity okay e to the power okay taking t common okay and minus common So here it is plus s, and since here it is plus s, so here it will be minus a. Okay, plus a that will become minus a because after opening this bracket, this will become positive, which is plus a. Okay, fine. <clears throat> so here we have e to the power minus s minus a times t dt. Okay, now integrating this integration with respect to t. Okay, then minus of s minus a will be, will be treated as what constant. Okay, so here we have e to the power minus of s minus a into t upon minus of s minus a. Okay, now limit goes from zero to infinity. Fine. Okay, upper limit minus lower limit taking this denominator part common that is minus one upon s minus a. This infinity will be here. Okay, put this infinity in place of t that is minus infinity e to the power minus infinity minus Lower limit that is e to the power zero. Okay, in place of t, put zero. Here it is, e to the power zero. Okay, upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, 
since we know that e to the power minus infinity can be written as 1 upon e to the power infinity okay minus 1 upon s minus a okay this is 1 upon e to the power infinity minus e to the power 0 that is 1 okay we know that this part is 0 okay so here it is here it is 0 and this is minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 will become plus 1 and this is upon 1 upon s minus a so finally we can say like we have proved that is laplace of e to the power 80 is what 1 upon s minus a okay thank you so much